Um, we look for three things when uh, we hire college students. We like uh, a student that's graduated from a recognized community college. Um, we like a student that has re reasonably good marks in the area that they studied. Uh, top marks are not necessary, but uh, certainly helpful, but we just want a graduate that has some uh, reasonably good marks. And we also look for someone that is a little more rounded uh, so that they may achieve something in sports when they were in uh, high school or music or some activity like that. Uh, we have several types of jobs for, for recent graduates. Uh, the first would be what you typically think of uh, where you would come in and uh, a new graduate would work with a more experienced assistant directly for a group of lawyers or, or one or two lawyers um, and they would be guided as they, they, uh, they grew their career. Uh, we also have jobs where you work in more of a team approach and you'd probably work with five, six or seven uh, legal assistants and there would be a more senior person that would guide the team uh, but you wouldn't be working directly for a lawyer. It's much more of a team approach. Uh, we also have jobs in what we call our administrative area, which would teach you how the office actually runs the back end of the office or the back room of the office, I should say. The advice I would give to recent graduates is the fir first thing is, that, uh, is to use your community college diploma and get employed. And you know, you may not find uh, the, jo the first job you get is the ideal job, but you should get a first job and, and gain some experience uh, within the legal business and then you can build your career from that. Um, the second piece of advice I would give people is that um, you really need to concentrate on interpersonal skills and on automation skills, being learning software, learning computer technology, uh, because the jobs of the future are all going to be team-based and they're all going to be highly automated. And the third piece of advice I'd give people is you really need to be flexible. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. We know there's good opportunities, but things are changing, so be flexible. Um, learn to get along well with people and learn to educate yourself continuously. The legal business, like uh, all businesses, are, is going under a tremendous amount of change right now uh, and certainly the law profession is not uh, immune to that. Uh, but given that, uh, with the change, there's still lots of opportunities. Um, there's jobs with sole proprietors, there's jobs with national firms, and a lot of the national firms are becoming international firms. So. You know, if you're interested in doing that kind of work, that would be a good spot for you. Um, there's jobs with more regional firms. Um, so there's lots of opportunities. There will there'll always be legal problems, and as long as there's legal problems, we're going to need legal assistance.